In this lesson, you will learn how to derive the pitch factor, which is important in calculating the EMF per phase of an alternator or a synchronous generator. Imagine we have a stator of 12 slots, with each slot containing 4 pole sides, and we have a rotor of 2 poles. When the rotor is spinning, EMF1 is induced from north pole in the upward direction, and on the other coil side, EMF2 from south pole is also induced in the upward direction. That is if our winding is full pitch. When the winding is full pitch, then the coil span W equals the tau, which is our pole pitch or the slots per pole. Take note that this is also equal to 180 degrees. Full pitch winding is nice because you'd get 100% of the phase voltage that you want. But if you want to improve the waveform of your generated EMF, you would need to use short pitch calls. But this is where the problem arises, Because the induced EMF is slightly out of phase by an angle alpha, and thereby our voltage is reduced. This is what pitch factor calculation is for, so that we can figure out by how much our voltage is reduced. This theta is the call span in degrees. We can also express theta in terms of call span per slots per pole times 180 degrees. You can see that tau is just 180 degrees as well. So 180 degrees divided by tau is just 1, in which theta would just be equal to W. But we can also see that theta is just 180 degrees minus alpha. Adding alpha on both sides will give us alpha equals 180 degrees minus theta. We'll substitute the value of theta and we will get this equation. After factoring out 180 degrees, we arrive at the final equation, which is this, and we will call this equation 1. We'll then focus on this triangle. We know E1 and E2 are radii of a circle, so the angle between E1 and the blue line must be alpha over 2. E1 and E2 are equal in magnitude. Adding these phases together gives us the resultant voltage. Looking at half of this triangle, we can easily figure out that the cosine of alpha over 2 is equal to ER over 2 all over E. Rearranging this would give us the equation for ER. We'll call this equation 2. Now if we are not short pitching, we would have just added the voltages arithmetically. The pitch factor is the fraction of what values we will get from short pitching and without short pitching. So Kp is the vector sum over the arithmetic sum. Substitute the value of ER, cancel out similar terms, then voila! We arrive at the formula in terms of short pitch angle. Life would have been very easy if alpha is given, right? But what if not? That's the use of our equation 1. Substitute this into cosine alpha over 2. Simplify and we'll get the cosine of angle difference. Expanding this, we'll see that the cosine of 90 is equal to 0. So this term cancels out. Sine 90 equals to 1. So we'll get this equation in terms of call span per slots per pole. Call span per slots per pole is also the pitch of a generator. We also know that the slots per pole is equivalent to 180 degrees. So Kp can further be simplified into sine of call span over 2, where call span is measured in electrical degrees. And that's it. Derivation success. Thank you for watching. If you noticed any mistake or there was something you want me to improve, please let me know in the comments. See you in my next derivation video.